Bounce dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bouncing in the water. Do a lot of bounce. It's supposed to be fish in the water. <laughs> fish in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then everybody bouncing, you know, bouncing in the wall. See my art, Keith Riley. Come see my art at Fulton Martin Kitchen for Rescue Destroy. Before it gets destroyed, save it, save it, save it, save the art. Because I did art my whole life. I mean, that's really all I know how to do. I had my piece in like the DeSabo Museum when I was like 14 years old. I'm 45 now, um, and it's like I, I'm trying to go on my own words, bumpy, which is balance, unity, movement, perspective, proportion, and emphasis. And I developed that so that I can like minimize art. I like to make art a creative expression of how I interpret the world. Uh, one of my ideas behind doing this originally, and it's worked magnificently uh -huh. for this, is when you have a person who like for a year or two has been like, yeah, I'm gonna buy that piece, or oh, even man, people right? who put a down oh. payment on it, you know, and then yes. like two years goes by and it's like, okay, I'm putting this piece up for rescue and destroy. If you don't buy it by this date, it is being destroyed. It's destroy. And it's legit. Um, we've been taking 20%. Dude, okay. that's really reasonable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're, not, we're trying to make it, oh, wow. that's yeah, that's awesome. mainly profitable. That way you don't have to like, the price doesn't have to be like super high. Yeah. You can really, you don't yeah. have to keep a financial or spiritual attachment yeah. to your work. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. It's yeah. like letting yeah. go. Letting I go. Like yeah, yeah. I like it. Putting it all for rescue and destroy. At the end of this year, I'm going to have no artwork left. Oh, you know, zero. Whole new body of work. Whole new body of work. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. And, and that's like refreshing. I just like recently started to learn how to like not have attachment to things. And I think this is like a great exercise for that, man, to not have attachment to art. I had a, one, a, a teacher tell me once that was brilliant. She told me once time, um, Michelle Stutz, brilliant teacher, one of the best I've ever had. She told me once, she said, never fall in love with your own work. Because one, you'll never make any money, and two, you'll never pay anything else. Art is intimidating to most people. Artists get to a point where they become elitist or stuffy. It's weird right now in the art world, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They all want to be Bansky. And, <laughs> I don't know, it's like reality yeah. TV, or reality TV. Uh, yeah. and it like it's like infiltrated the creative world. People from Wall Street managing art and advertisers that used to rep artists are now supposedly artists and and like I said like when we cease to learn we cease to exist I, it's hard for me to knock them and be like okay you can't be a painter it's hard to sit back and just say oh I'm not gonna paint and let these motherfuckers just jack up our profession you know shit Robert Henry would be fucking rolling over <laughs> his grave right now and the way people present themselves as professional artists the most honorable thing, the most, the most splendid, the most powerful thing you can do to appreciate an artist is to pay him for his work. That's the most respectful and honorable thing. Tell him how much you like it as you want. Tell him, tell him how much you like it. You can appreciate it all you want. The most powerful way to appreciate an artist's work is to pay him for it. Hell yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, really, yeah. like you know, I'm it's not really the that, only way to. The only way to. That's the only way to support them. The only way for them to be able to, to, to make happen. make to make more art. And really, for them to yeah. make more art and make other rights. artists will take payments. All sorts of people look at art and they think that I can't like I can't afford barter it. trade. Yeah, barter trade. They have yeah. no clue. Yeah. You know, just make a suggestion. <laughs> I, I'm getting my grill fixed. My, I love my dentist, Dr. <laughs> Anthony King. <laughs> Dr. Anthony King, he an art collector too. Anthony is like, he's like the new black. Uh, to me, he like he reminds me of the new uh, black Edward Bar uh, 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 Henry uh, Barnes. Barnes, right? Yeah, he he loves art so much, and appreciates it so much. Like he loves it and appreciates it, and has no shame about what he really loves. He has no pretentiousness about his collections and his work that he collects. If it speaks to him or speaks to his family. It's called The Notebook. And it has like pages of a notebook on the side. That's why the paper's all on the side. I gotta put it. So I love it, Alan. Yes. I love so it. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Everyone that comes has a blast. It sounds like a fun. Yeah. Really Please rescue my art. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We come out for Rescue Destroy, uh, Pete Brownlee. And please save it.
it's gonna die if you don't like and need life support and shit, you know. So save the art, rescue destroy.